Lone wolf start, yep. We're mugging the old man. Yeah. Okay. Twelve goblins. It's unfortunate. Okay. Why are there so many goblins on this road? I hate it so much. This is cancer. This is gonna suck ass. So dodge may be paying off a little bit here in homie chop since uh, they are focusing a lot of arrows onto him. Um, should have thought about that move slightly harder. Nice here. Makes me a little less terrified. I Man, if you guys would come break nuts or something, you know, just anything useful. No. Headshot with the arming sword. Nice. How many was this chat? Was this 12? Would this hit the ambition? Actually gonna catch him too because he panicked. So we go ahead of him this round. Sweet. Oh, I thought it was faint. I saw the orange. I'm orange. I'm like, wow. What did we get? No, it's like a goblin belt buckle. The goblins had already dropped their trousers when, uh, assuming the best, when you finish killing them, you wet the goblin's belt buckle. Okay, level here. Nice, missing these defense rolls, but getting there with the attack rolls. I think we're gonna have to start leveling that even if I don't want to. All right, uh, we're gonna pick up Battle Forged here. Steal this off, Triple P. This needs to be repaired. Uh, throw the 115 over here. Okay. okay, no annoying shit there. 
Out of tools, we will have to fix that. All right, how's this place on tools? They've been raided. Shit sucks. 202 on tools is pretty damn good though, especially if they've been raided. It's kind of weird. Why are the tools so nice on this map? I don't know. This map is amazing tool cost. I like how we've gone up in arrows. We haven't fired a single bullet yet this game, but uh, we picked up 163 arrows off enemies. Yeah, I'm really glad we didn't buy that early greatsword or great axe. There's a raider here for 3.7. There's a monk. This one is triple range defense, determined, hesitant. This one is sure-footed, hate for undead, which is nice. We could start with hate for the undead. That's basically two stars, right? Not quite as nice for the rolls, but it's basically the equivalent of two, two stars. I think we can work with that. Too bad Determine doesn't impact uh, Resolve. Yeah. Alright. 43 melee attack. Holy shit, that's bad. It's going to be very hard to build a banner uh, whip, whip Monk out of this. 51 is an okay roll. No Resolve stars at all. I think we'll probably roll it. We'll probably do it for now, but man. It's a pretty unexciting Monk. Alright. Doesn't confident give a resolve modifier? I'm pretty sure it does not. Uh, Alright. So, what are we selling at here? 16. Sell garbage. Need a little bit of food. All right, uh, a little bit of tools. Up to 7K, we should check for stuff. 600 whip, no famed weapons. Armor has famed helm that's out our price range. It's 1680 on the sell at helm. I don't think there's anything we want to buy here. It's okay. Why nimble on my main bro? It's, um, early game survivability of wounds coupled with late game stamina. And they've added a lot of really sweet nimble mail late game. I think nimble's still not as tanky, but I think it's much better than it's ever been before. All right. Uh, I, would, I do want to pick up... This is a fuck ton of tools, man. That's not modded in any way. That's just like this town having an absurd number of tools. The seed is disgusting. All right, we'll buy a hundred of those and throw a pike and a hat on this guy. Let's name him. Who is our temporary banner bro? Click to roll, Kagor. All right, welcome. Okay. Quitters never win. Do we want to like bust this undead camp over here? What was in it, by the way? Do we know what was in it? Should almost certainly be a banner, by the way. Guys, last time, how many? It was like 21 guys in a guys, wasn't it? Uh, we can almost get there. Not quite yet, I guess. All right. No, it's not a different role. It's always the always the same oh I see what you mean maybe it's different on dead you mean yeah could have been I think we could handle it's 11 It'd be tempting if that were 12 Let's see what we have here I don't want to fight the necro but if the necro just left it might be like 12 zombies or like low number 14 I don't see any guys could there be guys there's a necro and four okay so 14 11. Don't have an archer to kill this necro. Is this doable? I think it might be. It's a lot of axes. 
No, it's got to be guards for the Necro, right? We didn't see any of the timing on that. Is this a doable fight? 14 is about as close as we can. How do we kill the fucking Necro? Just go after him with one of the brothers. I mean, that damage buff is so nasty. Can't, I mean, you can whip Necros, it's not going to kill them, they have 60 armor. I think we're going to hit squad him with this guy. No buff up. Oh, he's gonna triple attack me from that position. That sucks. Can't, I don't know why I moved away from my guy being attacked this turn. Seems like a really dumb idea. Unsure about this idea right now. That to die and it didn't. We might go ahead of it. And then maybe not kill it. I mean, one shot to the head, not ideal. Mm, guy's looking pretty dead. I don't know if we have enough damage to get through this. I need to get to the fucking Necro and this guy trapping us is really not what we wanted. Oh, made to save himself, that's good. missing this guy that's a huge issue I don't know if shield wall actually makes any difference there this zombie is like the dodgiest zombie of all times come on zombie you're supposed to die in my life no now there's a second one there and now we don't get to do it How do we get to the Necro? Right direction, wrong spot. Is that fleeing now?
I wonder if I should have just stalled. Like, if we take this... Or to take this fight differently. Because we're losing this right now. Oh, what the fuck is that? Since when can zombies walk away from necros? Ever. Since when have they ever been able to do that? lost so we gotta take this fight differently then We can't we can, I mean this is what I was saying when we walked into it can we take this fight I think the answer is yes but I think we have to bring the we have to damage deal the necro to begin with I think we can stall for a little up here I mean, it's probably an ult at four right because otherwise we restart the run I mean we can certainly recover if we win this if I don't know if we recover or not we might not get through this It's like 30. When he just moved. Fuck off. You just moved. <sighs> well, that would be where this run ends, I guess. I don't see fighting from that position. We could have killed that. Yeah, they did two really unexpected moves there. The first is when the, the, skelet, the, the zombie engaged us out of the necros range. They've always had to hug the necros tile by one. And then this guy moving there is super bad too. I think we can actually handle this without um, without ranged still. I think that fight is really close. I haven't fought Necros like this strategy yet. And I think it's really, really, really close. That fight, I think. It's a little tough to say because so much of the damage comes from Filthy in that fight. That it's a little bit hard to decide if we can realistically move him to hunt the zombie. Another boss down. Thanks, Rally Mod. All right. So how do we fight? Oh, well, first of all, it'd be nice if we switch the whip out so I have full movement.
this, this, they normally buff the defender. They did not buff the fucking defender there, which is some serious bullshit. How do I get through here, though, if they're gonna do this shit? Where's the fucking defender? Thank you, Matraka, for the resub. So many turns of no damage. I didn't want to knock him. I mean, but he still controls all those tiles. Like, I can't get to this necro. It's like three tiles of running. And no damage meantime on that. I don't know, chat. I don't want to walk through his zone of control twice. Maybe I do. I mean, these guys can stall for a while, but they can't handle this fight. They can't do any damage. They'll get overrun. Especially if his resolve is going to break. So he's going to attack us three times at negative elevation. So tempted just to bash him off, but... Maybe I should have done that anyways. Just stayed there next turn. I don't think I can get through there. Or that, sure. I mean, they're just gonna chase down now, though, because there's no guy there to grab them while he's breaking too. Maybe we can't take this fight. Since if we're not DPSing there, we're not getting enough DPS. Maybe it has to be this guy to hunt. All right, let's try it one last time and then we'll move on. If this doesn't work one last time. So I think it has to be the first guy that we chose to hunt in the first place, the, the weaker damage brother, the other hedge knight. But I think we have to uh, set up the positioning just a little bit different with that. And I have to have the whip unequipped to begin with. The whip needs to not be equipped because it's just, it's just a full action that I don't get to attack with, which is a full turn. So that needs to be fixed, so. But I'm not really sure. Maybe the maybe we just can't handle necros with only four people like this because it's too easy to get overwhelmed. The same reason we've been dodging creatures that overwhelm. But it did seem like you know this is a really close try at 14. So all right, so we don't need to be back here. Let's actually position like we're fighting intelligently. Uh, down. Something like this, I guess, is probably where we want to be. All right, any other weapons we change? No. No, well, maybe 53 is pretty bad. 48, 107. That's okay. Let's try it. Uh, hold on a minute. What do I have in my inventory? I have armor in my inventory? Where the fuck do I have armor in my inventory? Let's assign armor too. That seems like that could be something relevant to this fight. Okay. Thank you, uh, Brumskull. Cheers. I will add... 13 raffle tickets to uh, your name. All right, so now we spawn at the bottom of a hill, so we're not gonna fight that like this. A kind gesture. And a clever fool. <laughs> All right, we'll get you in there, clever fool. Just a donation. All right, where is the Necro? There is a range on his spell. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's uh, it's pretty high, but it's not like unlimited. I guess we could run up here, just as a group, back this way. I'm gonna wait for the zombie, the buff zombie, to speed along somewhere. And the way the zombies target who they go to is just closest as far as I know. 
So if we can get our brothers closer this way. Maybe. It does bank on... Uh, I mean, now that we have our appropriate armor on, too, it does bank on this guy. He's Battleforged, though, like 200, 200 Battleforged. Bank on him being able to kill the zombie plus his escorts, which I think he can. So. <laughs> Kree's standing. It's like 20 tiles up. If they're using some weird new guard rules where they don't actually have to guard, it's going to be certainly annoying as hell. Might actually be better to go down a tile. So this one's chasing us here. I don't know that I care that much. You don't want that tile? I think I do want to go down. Where's the buff? On one of his defenders. That's interesting. don't want to kill anything until they've moved. All right, let's go kill the Necro. Decapitates for days, feels nice. is now approaching like what the fuck isn't he a guard he's allowed to just he's no longer like restrained when he's buffed or something like why is he allowed to do what he wants the whole point of the guards is they're limited like they're required to guard he's now goes back like what i don't know man fight through this uphill. Almost doesn't matter. The fact they're unable to buff, he's been unable to buff this hill has made this fight just totally reasonable. The unbuffed zombies really aren't that dangerous. As he hits me in the head with a hatchet and it fucking sucks, but you know, in general, I mean. Five misses over there. I think we need to probably get him out of there. There's two hatchets next to him. Okay, I don't actually care if they're in that position. I do care if they move to there. I wonder if they will. 
Let's play it safe and assume they will, since they have some weird new rule set with their guarding behavior. Necro moves. Look at them be smart about hiding. God, it's so annoying. So you have to have archers now because the Necro is going to dodge the hit squad. <laughs> Look at him! We flanked all the way over here for like 12 turns to get into position here. He leaves his guard and books it towards us. That's a much smarter Necro than there's ever been. It's kind of wild. You like this? this huh? I don't know, man. If you want to like, if you want galaxy brain enemies in this game, you're going to... Uh, you're gonna run into some issues. Like imagine if uh, goblin shamans now, they just spam their debuff on you every round. Like you go to a goblin city and there's three shamans and each of them, you know, it's a three round debuff. You have 12 people. Each of them cast that every round and debuffs your entire team for the entire fight, for the entire, every single person for every single round. You sure that's something you wanna, you think is gonna be a reasonable thing to have happen? I'm very curious what the hell is happening right now. Dude, look at him. Just stay out of range of the flanker. Can at least break vines. I'm not talking about vines. Although vines are a fucking pain in the ass. I'm talking about insects form. If they were to insects form you, Every single one of your brothers, which is a debuff that lasts for three rounds, it just removes like, I think it's 50% of your combat stats. Alright, we finally caught him. Round 16. Alright, moving away from him really helped here. Still think we're going to want one archer for this playthrough. Fishes so we can still lose over there. I think they can handle this alone, so I think I need to bring aid. Yeah, two archers seems to be about the sweet spot, I agree. That's what I tend to run. But we, this is the lone wolf run though, so we may not have two archers, we'll see. All right, Iron Man, first try, no problems. The new Necros, that's very interesting. I wonder when that has been. I haven't fought a Necro who's behaved that way yet, so that's pretty new. Should always attack the one that does something. All right, we got there with that fight, but that was kind of sketchy. It was kind of sketchy. How would I feel if like the flanker had a dog? Does that help me in some way I'm not aware of? Probably pretty bad, I guess. <laughs> to resolve, this is gonna be a very temporary banner. P, it's not a terrible roll, not a great roll. Resolve, getting there. Need some more stam rolls. Take the four, but I think we're starting to get pick up threes or above there now. This is underdog. All right, I don't want to fight the zombies or the uh, this undead. I wonder if I can get away from it. I think I can. We're only four people. We should be fucking faster than them. 
Whether or not we are, we'll see. Okay. Didn't we win a battle against 12 or more enemies, chat? Wasn't that like 20? There we go. Okay. Interesting, though. New combat AI for the uh, Necros. Uh, yep. We're going to be fighting again. How's our armor? It's okay. The nimble armor doing work. Self-imposed rules. We're only playing premium backgrounds. Four to six raiders. Okay, weird. Sure. Uh, probably homie chops. It's this one. I guess we're leveling our banner monk. Uh, who is that? Kegor. Like this. Uh, I guess 190 is 190, but I think we need 190 for this. Let's let that repair. Okay. Surprise Necro? Fuck! 